So for this type of question, we're asking when is the work negative? So we need to draw the situation. When the work is negative, the angle theta is going to be um, more than 80 degrees. So right here, the imaginary line, this means that it equals 90. So the force is going to that direction and the displacement or delta S is going to the opposite direction. That's when the work is negative. When the work is uh, positive, the force is going the same direction where the displacement is going. In this case, theta will be less than 80 degrees. In this case, for the first part, what is the work done on the particle? We're just going to use this formula right here. Then we, then we just plug in the values that we're given on on the question and we would have this value 4950 joules for question b we would um put the equation as the friction times the distance so w equals f times d so to find the force we would have to get 4950 divided by the distance but in this case we cannot solve for this problem because we don't know the distance now similarly for uh, question c in this case we're missing the value for the distance i mean we don't have the value for the friction i'm sorry so therefore we cannot calculate the distance now for question d what it means to have the object uh, to have a kinetic energy of 5,000 joules means the following. The kinetic energy is the same as one half of the mass times the velocity squared. So we can say that 5,000 equals one half times one times v squared. So velocity squared is going to give us 10,000. And as we take the square root of it, it's going to give us 100. Um, 100 uh, meters per second. 